Hey guys, how's it going? My name's Tyson. I run the Farming Simulator Modding page. The Nez Farms Farming Simulator Modding, and today we're going to be going over the dairy farming tutorial on Automoke's DFMEP. Uh, this tutorial isn't going to focus on feeding. Uh, it's more focused on cattle management and uh, stuff like that. So uh, as you see, I got all the equipment here just to kind of keep the cows alive. Uh, we'll be going over the uh, just be going over the cattle management, like when to move them around and all that stuff. So let's get started here. For the sake of testing this, I'm going to fill both the free stall and the tie stall with uh, Holstein heifers. So we're going to put 42 of them in here. And now we're going to put 150 cows in the free stall. So it's now autumn, late autumn. The, uh, the first of our heifers that we bought are going to give birth here. Uh, for those of you who don't know, a heifer is a cow that has never given birth. Uh, so we bought a bunch of one-year-old heifers at the beginning of this uh, tutorial. Uh, and they are now uh, 1.6 years old and they are ready to give birth. So when I did, when I set this up, I put, filled both these barns to maximum capacity, which means that if they were to give birth, we wouldn't get the calf. Uh, so we need to take the ones that are gonna give birth almost immediately out, put them in the calving pens. So right now, the ones that are about to give birth are... Let's just grab a few examples. I won't do them all. So we get 58, 60, 63, and 65. So 58, 60, 63, and 65. So we're going to grab those ones. Apparently 58 has just disappeared. Oh, there you go. There she is. We're gonna grab these four out. And then we're gonna drive them over here to the back of the tie stall barn where the calf pens are. And we're gonna drop them off. Now we're gonna do the same with the tie stall barn. Same process. Just grab them, move them. So if you keep your uh, herd efficient by keeping only the um, cows that are actually milking in the uh, in your milking barns, then it leaves you room to rotate them through and just constantly keep your milk production at its maximum. Or maybe not its maximum, but a lot higher than just having everything all in one barn like uh, most other maps do it. So my game crashed and I lost a bit of progress here. But uh, basically, what happens after the uh, calves, uh, cows give birth is you bring them back, you bring the mothers back to the uh, milking barn immediately, because as soon as they give birth, that's when the milk production starts. Get them in there, haul the next load of mothers over here to the calf pens. Then the calves, you're going to keep them in here for uh, two, three seasons transitions, and then you're going to move them over to one of the uh, facilities for dry cows. So you got a you got a barn here, and you got a barn down here. So these are for dry cows, heifers, whatnot, uh, and also the pasture. So depending on how many you have, you might want to run them in the pasture to save food because the cows eat a lot on this map. Like uh, you're going to be storing food every possible way you can. So you're going to want to. Uh, you're going to want to get calves, cows, calves, whatever you got in the pasture as soon as you can get them in here. I'd, I'd say, like I said earlier, keep them on milk replacer for like two seasons transitions, maybe three. And then out to the pasture or out to the barn they go. Uh, next thing we're going to look at is the uh, components of the feed ration. And then we're going to look at uh, taking care of uh, the manure. Right, we're just going to go through the uh, feed now. Uh, if you watch the beef cattle tutorial, pretty much the same thing here. Uh, you got your ground feed, your cracked corn, your bean meal, and your CCM. If you want to make uh, if you want to make cracked corn, you fill up the uh, fill up that little blue uh, blue harvest store there. If you want to make uh, ground feed, you kind of you're kind of stuck doing it manually with a uh, gr New Holland grinder mixer, which is this thing. So it's not really your priority feed. Uh, then we have bean meal here, which you can just buy 
with the global company menu. Like this. So you click on the input. And then you click on uh, maximum and you click buy. Or you can just buy it a thousand liters at a time. Then what, you can also spawn, um, by clicking on the output side, you can spawn in uh, buckets of them. And we also have CCM here, which represents earledge. This is one thing that it, if you're running this farm at max capacity, you're really going to need another bunker silo if you want to run earledge. But uh, you can produce your lynch by putting a snapper head on a forage harvester and then putting it in any of these silos or a bunker. And then for our fibrous materials, we have hay, WCS fermented, which is uh, wrap bale. Uh, we got grass or haylage and corn silage. Now, the difference between the beef farming and the uh, dairy farming is you need this and this as part of your component, as part of your TMR. You need this or this as part of TMR. And I don't mean this and this. You need this or this. So these are both required components. And this and this, either or, are required components for TMR as well. Need a good tutorial on how to make the TMR on this map? The main tutorial has a good section in it on that. I won't be covering it in this tutorial. So if you've been playing on the map long enough, you may have noticed that some of the cattle barns spawn manure randomly inside the barn and you have to clean it out to keep the cows happy. This burns one of them, and uh, then this system over here, you, either, uh, you can either store it in here, or you can uh, dump it in a manure spreader that you pull up right here. And the same concept is over here uh, with the stable cleaner, or barn cleaner, whatever you want to call it. The barn cleaner uh, gives you the option of piling it here, which you generally don't want to do. Generally, you kind of want to, at least want to have a trailer under there, but in order to use the barn cleaner, what you're going to do is you're going to go here, you're going to press B to start picking up the manure. And you either pull a manure, under, manure spreader under it, or a trailer, or if you really absolutely want to make a pile, just press left control I. <coughs> and it'll, it'll start flying out of there. Oh, it stop because I got out of it. Oh, no. Uh, so there's one little bug with this. If you don't empty it out every day, it kind of builds up, and you have to uh, you have to fast forward for it to fill up again. So I've absolutely bugged this out. So yeah, you need to stay on top of the manure daily for it to get drained out or it won't, it'll get stuck. So you basically have to wait for the, you basically have to wait for the cows to produce more before it'll work again. And you just keep taking it out. Take, so try to stay on top of it daily. The free stall has a liquid manure pit. Uh, you can put straw in it and it'll give you manure, but there's no way to actually get it out. The reason why str the straw and the manure uh, are still there is for functionality. Uh, the slurry will not work on seasons without having both um, manure and slurry as well as straw options on the uh, barn. But you guys should know how uh, slurry works. Just come over here and press R, press enter, fill her up. Now, in terms of seasonal tasks for Autumn Oaks DFMEP dairy farming, uh, in the spring, you want to make sure you get your uh, your corn, your silage corn planted. You're going to need lots of silage corn. Uh, it's one of your main feed components. Uh, as you move closer to summer, you're going to want to get your first cutting of grass off. Uh, you're going to want to turn that into haylage. Then you're going to want to uh, do another, you'll get another cutting of grass in the summer. You might want to turn that into hay. Ideally, it's up to you. You, you guys are really, you guys are really in control in the end. I mean, you can wrap bales. You can, you can bale hay. You can make, uh, make haylage. It's all up to you guys, really. Uh, as summer kind of turns into fall, you, you should get one more cutting in theory. Uh, and then, in 
the fall, you want to get your silage corn off, you want to get your regular corn off and into the high moisture corn silo. And then you want to make sure you get your triticale rye or wheat in the ground for uh, spring forage. So it gives you extra forage for the spring because you're going to need that when, you're, when your heifers are eating more because they're adult milking cows now. They, they Essentially their food uh, requirements will, I think they almost uh, triple on top of what they already were. Uh, so you want to be prepared for that. You want to have these silo. You want to be chopping grass, um, chopping the green, uh, spring forage, pretty much as soon as you can, and you want to repeat that every year. So you make sure you're on top of that. And uh, between all of that, you got to stay on top of the manure spreading too. These cows are what goes in is coming out. You got to get it on that field too. So it's a very busy, busy map especially on this farm, more more than the uh, tie stall farm or the beef farm, because these cows are eating more and producing more manure, more milk, than the other, uh, well, the beef farm's not producing milk, but th this farm's gonna produce way more milk than the other farm, but at a cost of more work. So just, you guys gotta stay on top of things, and uh, make, sure you, make sure you use course play or find some multiplayer help because managing this farm at full capacity is going to be quite the task for one person but I, I if you really are dedicated you can do it by yourself and I know I covered this in the main tutorial but just to just to reiterate when you want to sell your milk if you have the uh, animal pen extension mod on you can come into the the uh, milk parlor here uh, or not the parlor but the milk, uh, the tank room and this is for the tie stall here. You can sell, you can automatically sell your milk from the tie stall. And if you want to sell from the, uh, the free stall, you just come over behind the tank here. And you just press OK. There you go. So I hope this, uh, hope this tutorial helped you guys with all your questions about dairy farming on Autumn Oaks DFMEP. At least on this main farm here. If you guys have any questions, Feel free to hop in the Discord and ask uh, away in the support channel where me and the other admins, moderators, and just people that know a thing or two about the map are more than glad to help. So thanks guys and see you guys next time.